Nee, nee, nee. Total okay. Good evening. Tonight we welcome Anne Joachim Bernhard to uh, AAC. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, Professor Bernhard uh, studied at Kunstakademie in Düsseldorf as well as uh, Aachen University and is for many years now already professor at Aachen for uh, architecture building typology. Um, she is co-founder of Bell Soizet and uh, for more than 20 years um, one of those distinct voices in um, uh, developing architecture fit for future use and um, we remember their house in the self-built house at uh, IBA in Hamburg in 2013 which also brought to a broader audience uh, their long-standing experience in um, developing housing or future ways of uh, housing. But also um, Kaufhaus Breuer, which is, brings together the themes of social and sustainable uh, typologies to um, the continuation of existing structures, uh, which is one of the projects that is very close to what we're doing at the AC workshop for High Street Alive. Thank you very much for taking the trouble, especially the train ride, um, uh, to be here in person tonight. Please um, join me in welcoming Professor Bernhard. Yeah, thank you very much for the warm welcome in all uh, levels, in a way, um, for the invitation and to have the pleasure to, to be here. Um, the lecture is, is really related to the workshop, so it's, it's, it's like you may have uh, noticed from the, from the title, that it's, um, it, it, it's directly uh, related with the, the, the topic of the workshop. Um, and I'm starting with, the, uh, with one of our first project, which is almost 20 years old, or yeah, almost, um, which was a transformation of a, of, a, of a department store, a very small department store, in a time where there was one of the, the former shifts within the, the, the typology of retail or, yeah, of shopping. Um, at that time, um, the building was too small to be, to be, um, yeah, to 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 live further as a as a department store, and our transformation was almost invisible from the outside. But it's 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 it was quite an intervention um, in the inside of the building. Um, it's yeah, it's placed um, in a in the main street, in the high street of this small town between Aachen and Cologne. And um, the, the, the owner, the family of the, the former department store owners um, asked us to transform just the ground level. And we mm, said maybe it it's it's better not to think about only about um, the ground level, but about the whole building because the whole building uh, was em or was already empty for almost 20 years, and um, so we we started uh, in a in a very naive way um, a small uh, yeah um, research in how to develop that kind of building and um, it was quite clear that that it it would never um, would never be again retransformed into into something uh, that that would 
would be called retail, because uh, at that time, um, mm, yeah, um, stores for 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 clothes were even in Eschweiler bigger than the the ground fl uh, that than the the floor plans uh, offered, and that's the 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 existing uh, structure, a very simple skeleton with an open staircase, the first elevator of Eschweiler and um, um, fire escape. So it was quite simple, and t in, the, in the first floor it, it was fully glazed. And in the upper floor, um, you can see that the, the windows aim to be um, ah, Bandfassade, a uh, uh, Bandfenster, so, but didn't not really manage to be um, um, an open uh, facade, but you can see that, that, it's, that it's really an open plan. Um, and the transformation was, was, like I said in the beginning, it's, it's, it's invisible, almost invisible from the outside. Um, we we uh, put, um, have put ins insulation in front and we replaced the windows with uh, new wooden windows. And we transformed the very beautiful um, mm, plasters, plaster from the 50s with a, with a, with a, with a glooming um, plaster with uh, small glass balls that uh, is able to, to reflect the light. But um, the main strategy for, for the transformation was a mixed use that we um, and introduced different programs like al also in the workshop uh, your brief pro um, proposes different things um, so we started with this this the, 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 the shop that started the whole process and then uh, um, in the first floor, it's it's an it's an open office uh, floor that could be transformed into several units, and then in the in the upper two floors, it's um, housing for the elderly that were there then in the beginning of two thousands. The first mm, the first strong movement that the that elderly people re-entered the city, that they left their big family homes and re-entered the, the, um, the city again. And so the, 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 the upper floors is housing. Um, and yeah, we've done that by adding things and subtracting things, so cutting things out small holes, not a big courtyard, but small holes, because the, the, the program of, of elderly uh, housing in Germany um, wants to have an um, outdoor space, and we thought that it's, it would disturb the whole outer appearance to cut there something out. So we, 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 we started the whole process in cutting courtyards in, that it's, it's an inner outdoor space. So that every apartment has its own almost invisible uh, courtyard that is really private. Um, and then the, the, the upper floor is, is somehow, mm, squeezed around the courtyard of the, the lower floor. And it's really, yeah, independent. Each, each courtyard is really independent. And the, the, the shape of the courtyards is, is created by the, the, the beams that were already there. So it's really cut into it, in a way, um, drawn on the floor of the, the building site. 
that's an, an, a lower um, apartment and the courtyard in the back is, is seven, seven meters below the, the, the roof. So it's, it's quite deep, but you can see, as you can see, it's, it's really illuminating the whole apartment from behind or from within. And then the, the, the structure of the apartment really tries to keep the, the, yeah, the essence or the, 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 the spirit of the department store so that within they're, they're not that big, but it's, it's only a core that organizes the whole floor. And in within the core, it's, it's obviously the bathroom and outside the core it's the kitchen so that even if it's a it's if it's an apartment of uh, 50 or something around 50 square meters you have a bit the still the feeling of the open floor you can you have seen in one of the first um, buildings and then the elderly people moved in um, that's <laughs> Frau Büring um, and she, in, in, in her first day, um, a former uh, pharmacist, and she was happy that she was living in the, the former uh, toy, toy, toy section of the department store. Yeah, so <coughs> within the structure, it's, it's one big apartment and smaller apartments. Uh, it was one of the first um, elderly apartment or shared elderly apartment unit uh, in a way of an, an experiment that worked out. Um, and then in the upper floor, it's um, four um, apartments um, all within with the core and the courtyard in these stripes. And the other thing we introduced is a new distribution within the building. Um, we called that wheelchair highway because of the regulations of the, the, the German regulations um, that you, you have to introduce this turning circle of a wheelchair and it's an inner corridor um, that is on the back uh, of the whole structure in the in the dark back, and it somehow curves around um, the apartment and the courtyard of the apartment. And the the whole distribution um, starts in the in the, s the on the street, and there we also cut a higher entrance hall into the structure and then this new um, stairway to the roof terrace, <laughs> not to heaven, but in into the roof terrace, uh, is also cut in into the structure. And there um, you can see this, this the, the, the corridor that moves softly around uh, the courtyards, and so you 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 enter the your apartment from the outside of your apartment. So you you there it's warm and inside, and then through the doors it's outside again. So it's it's very it's 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 really the feeling of being independent. It's almost a feeling of of having an uh, an independent house within the structure of the building. That was something we really liked. And then the, 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 the stair turns around and it's a public um, roof terrace on top where you yeah, are almost on the highest point um, of this small scale city, Eschweiler. Yeah, the second project is again um, 
transformation project. It's not really um, it's not really retail, but it's a it's a it was an industrial building uh, that we try to transform into a big cultural center. A few months ago, the project stopped. Unfortunately, um, it's in in Flandern. Um, in the in West Flandern, in a very small town which is called Isachem. And uh, in, in Flandern, they have the the a program that almost every city has a quite big cultural center, where every every child and also the rest of the the, the citizens uh, is able to learn to paint, to sculpture, to play theater, to play music. Um, and it's, it's, it's because, yeah, the, the, the um, education in Belgium is quite good. And these buildings are, are one of the, 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 the mm, stones within the uh, uh, quite mm, well-developed uh, system of education. So it's one part to have in a, in a city of, of 15,000 um, inhabitants a cultural center for uh, almost 20 million euros. So it's in, in Cologne, it's, it's not like this, but in Belgium, um, yeah, they do it. Unfortunately, not now, um, because they were afraid of, of uh, the, the construction cost. So they, yeah, freezed uh, the, uh, the, the the whole process. Um, and but there, um, it's also, in a way, several uh, strategies of transformation I want to talk about. Mm. So it's it's almost in the city center. Here is the 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 big square that every Belgium uh, town has, um, and across ah, it's quite slow across uh, the street. Yeah, there it's the the. Um, main um, station and our building is that complex out of these this flat part and uh, the the thinner higher part and it used to be a, f um, a printing workshop where a very famous um, um calendar was being printed. And they moved to Ostende and now um, the building was empty, the, s the city bought it and we in a way fell in love with the building um, in di almost directly in, in, the, in, the, in the small competition uh, we were in. And it but it's, it was open to demolish the building or to keep it. And we were the team that made the proposal to keep it because of the, the um, structure, which was well kept. Um, so that's the workshop building with the, these frames, the uh, concrete frames and an open floor. Um, fully glazed from two sides, and the 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 uh, horizontal part where the the paper was being stored and the um, printing presses stood um, was a um, an open again an open structure with prefabricated, very beautifully prefabricated beams and uh, columns. 
yeah, and then there were some nice, nice parts uh, where they, they, they kept their old machinery. And we start the whole process in building a model of, of the building, a very reduced model to describe the, the spatial quality of each part. Um, and try to, to analyze the qualities of how wide, where the light comes in and where maybe not, um, of the, the, the grid. And then um, we measured the whole building. It wasn't given to us, so we, we prepared the plans um, to really start a transformation of the, the Straubel factory, how it was called. Yeah, and then we, we analyzed other mm, related typologies like libraries and uh, um, cultural centers because ours is somehow in between. It's, not re it's, it's, it's both, it's a cultural center and a very huge library. And we, yeah, we transformed um, the, the analysis into um, a program plan, which is not mm, is not a floor plan, but a distribution of the the main uses. Uh, pink is a library. Um, green is uh, is the the art school of of different classes of yeah y you can see it here in the in the uh, signs that it's about playing theater making music painting uh, and then there was also the the city archive and some shared spaces a huge theater space and an exhibition space that all the institutions shared. Yeah, that's a gift that doesn't work. Um, mm, so that's the former, the building uh, we was somehow handed over. Um, and then we, we've woven the program into that fabric. Um, and the main, the, the main idea was to really to um, work with the library as an, as, a, as an open space, as a foyer, that the whole distribution of the whole system um, yeah, works with the library, which is, again, pink. And um, that we introduced two huge openings, like um, grand, uh, grand stairs mm, that, yeah, make you to enter the open space, and from from within the open space you enter the art school in the different uses and so on. So the strategy is is in that. Uh, project an overlay of different of different programs mm. and the main the main element of this overlay is the the big stair which is not only the entrance or the the first foyer but a theater stage and a theater an, uh, an auditorium and the reading, the main reading hall, and also part of the cafe. So the 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 almost yeah every of the the the, the colors of the whole program is overlaid within that space, um, which is new. Therefore, for this uh, big stair, we cut out uh, a part of the, the concrete and um, also uh, made a big beam above so that the, 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 the whole construction above, because we added also 
um, a small building on the roof because the building was a bit too small. And then, yeah, in this, in this to do a stair, which is also a reading hall, which is also um, a cafe and the entrance, it's not that easy. In, in the in the in the in the work sh in the sorry in the competition we somehow said yeah it's quite clear to do that but afterwards it was really complicated to yeah to fulfill uh, the fire fire regulation and the whole acoustic was not that easy because it has had to be really a working theater. Um, so we, yeah, really studied in in model and in 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 drawing how to do this double or, or not or triple or even more the the multi layering of different uses, which is something you somehow propose very easily to do it but then in the in the in the further design uh, phases it, it was quite an effort to fulfill um, everything we and the world wanted so that's the final yeah, it's it's it looks quite simple um, but that's the final it, that was the final um, thing that um, yeah, you had seats for the theater, but then these balconies for the reading uh, part, and then again um, a, a way up to the first floor, which was the main library floor. Yeah, and then the other strategy was that we introduced small things small, in Germany they are quite simply called Raumbildende Ausbauten. Um, so small things which are, mm, which are easily to be built because it, it's, it's, it doesn't rain on them, but they're also there are um, really um, not just one thing, but several things like the other stair we introduced, which is a, the storage for the toys, which was huge. So it's a, it's, it's, it's a, a cupboard and a stair and a, a balcony to look, to look out uh, of the, the, this inner space. So that's that's all the fixtures uh, we have been designed. Some of them are inside, or most, mo mostly all of them are inside, some of are of outside, like this beam. Um, yeah, and there's the small addition, which is also outside on the top. Yeah, maybe the, the floor plans are a bit... Uh, small and not interesting enough um, to talk about. You can see the different programs. Um, and the open space, so that's the first floor. Like we've drawn it um, in the competition. And, and above that, it's yeah, it's there's the 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 only thing we added for mm, two and a half or three and a half spa uh, uh, spaces rooms that were not within the whole the existing structure. Um, yeah, and we we the 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 other main thing we did we um, we replaced the roof. Um, with very now with very high insulation, and we added skylights and photovoltaic. 
Now that's the roof. And then above, it's open studios in, the, in this workshop building. And behind the beam um, that overspans the, the theater or the, the stair theater, um, there are rehearsal rooms. Yeah, and then um, in, in Belgium, it's, it's, it's possible to, to work um, quite on site with the installation. So it's, 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 it's quite easy to, in a within a transformation, to do on certain spots quite a lot and on, on, other, thing, uh, on other elements or parts of the building almost nothing. And we did also did that proposed that that the, the our main thing is the roof which almost yeah has a is, is does the whole energy saves and produces energy uh, and then the 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 outer walls were in some parts just kept with cutted holes and we proposed that like in this this raincoat in this raincoat, um, on certain parts, we covered the existing facade with uh, this uh, cast glass um, panels, a very beautiful cast glass panels. Yeah, and that was the in the last design phase, the outer appearance. This is open library in the first floor, the entrance into the stairs and theater there. And there's a second rehearsal entrance within the, the stair tower. If it's on air, then you have to use the other, the other entrance here. Yeah, and that's the back of the building where was another entrance. Yeah, that's the whole system of kept parts, transformed parts, and these fixtures, and the small addition on the top here. Yeah. Okay, that project tried to, to um, introduce strategies of of, of programming spaces and um, overlaying programs. Then back again uh, to the topic of um, retail reuse. Mm, and it's now almost, um, almost all things from the university. So also we, we also um, started within uh, that moment uh, of in 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 the summer of 2020 department the first uh, clo closing closing event of um, the department store happened uh, to to take eight of them um, and to propose a cultural center. And I think it's, it's, it's quite an interesting um, point um, within, within the history of architecture that, that we somehow um, are aware of of, of one of the moments where really um, a typology is dying. Um, most of them die slowly or silent. Um, but the de department store does not is, is not that silent because it's 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 quite huge and um, it really it really mm, yeah it really in a way burns holes um, in the fabric of the city. And yeah, somehow 
it's a specific moment in time. Um, there have been several shifts in that typology, but I think it's somehow the moment where several of them were, will be, or are already demolished. So it's it's really as, as we all um, would declare it, um, will not be there anymore. Yeah, so in, in that master studio, uh, we, we studied eight of them, just to, to be very quick. Um, very different uh, situations, and the the, uh, the 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 one thing we have found out in doing it in in this overview, doing eight with different students in different cities, we found out that it's it's the the uh, typology somehow proposes a very um, root, in a way, um, acting within the structure. So it's, it's, you can't be silent within um, a department store. And like the, the, the uh, slide says, it's they, I think they can be prototypes for spatial strategies. And it's, I move through them quite quickly. For a department store in uh, Fulda, which is, uh, which is one of them by, one of the few by a renowned um, architect, the proof. And the student uh, proposed uh, an aid um, a very beautiful project through that building um, in different ways uh, and possibilities to move through within that program that they all shared a, um, a cultural center. And the another um, project is is again in Fulda. It's also the Zepruf Karstadt, um, and he proposed What is that? But it, it, no. Ah. Mach das mal aus. Ah, noch nicht. Und? Ja. Gut. Perfect. Thank you. So the, 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 the second project is again in Fulda, the, the a transformation of their proof, and that student proposed an, an upper edition, which could be read as a city crown for the big public spaces, um, like the theater, um, uh, which is, is, is new. He almost doubles. Um, the size, and he, he also declared it quite 
clear from the city fabric. And another one uh, is in Neumünster. Astonishingly, um, the city of Neumünster bought it, the, the former Karstadt, and they're doing their, the thing the student proposed, Sophia Lieberich, uh, a library. It, in our program, there was a library and other things, but the city does it, it itself, which is super nice that they are doing, that they uh, are transforming the department store into a cultural center, in a way. And um, yeah, here you can see um, the courtyard, which is a covered courtyard in the Neumünster um, Karstadt. And she added a tower because she she said that the city needs a tower. <laughs> and the, the, the last two projects are the same. Um, the apartment store is in Dortmund, which is the biggest you can imagine. It's, I think it's, it's above 100,000 square meters. It's a former Kaufhof. Um, and, and on the, the main street that connects every uh, street in the rhine ruhr gebiet the Hellweg. So it's, it's the street there is also quite important. Um, and yeah, it was almost empty when we started the project. So it's, it's, it's also in kind of a survey. And the proposal is to have two buildings within one, one which is cold and has double height floors, and the other is warm. Um, and the program is always a bit too big and too distributed because the building is so big. Um, and that it gains from the contrast of the open outdoor space that could be entered by car and the closed indoor space. So it's, it's I call it doppelgänger. Um, yeah, because of it's two, two states of the same. It still is um, a cultural center, but it has this open, open spaces that are cold, um, but not and covered and an indoor space that it's warm. Yeah, and there, he also developed a program for both parts, the, the open and the closed part. Yeah, you can see that you can enter by car, which is one of the, the gifts several of the department store have, that you can enter by car and that, they, that the, the also the floors are very capable for heavy loads. And yeah, he, he, he developed the facade that is, yeah, works with the, the, the moment of opening and um, closing the open space. And then he also built quite beautiful models of the new infrastructure or the infrastructure around the existing uh, fire escaped escapes. Yeah, and yeah, it, it could be possible to, to, <laughs> to have a screening of the tart art on top of the new cultural center. And the second one is again of the, the same building and it also somehow um, is, is very enthusiastic about the, the abundance of space, that it's so big um, and that you really can 
cut out spaces of this huge mass of building. Um, and he yeah, did, did it very precisely. So it's that the, the cut out spaces are the, 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 the important spaces. As you can see uh, in the models, which were built at home because it was total lockdown, the lockdown uh, education. Therefore, you see also the, yeah, these strange backgrounds that it's in, a, in an apartment. Um, yeah, we, we haven't seen us during um, the, the, the whole studio. It was all online. Yeah, and he is about also about programming the, 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 the building around the year very intensively with things the rhein ruhr area would love to do. Um, and then, yeah, we can see that it's, it's um, also in, in, in doing fixtures or, or built-in structures in the, in the whole structure, which is drawn in black. And yeah, he, t he also talks a bit about the, 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 the history of the department store and other things, the history of the city. Mm. And one of the, yeah, in the, in the second, then in the second floor, second upper floor, you've seen this huge courtyard, which yeah, works as a, as a, as also as a reading hall or a distribution. Um, and everything is a bit too big because the building is, is already there. You have to just to, to cut it out to have that space. So it's, it's, it's a, it's a very um, beautiful way in, of designing in, in being subtractive and finding things in a way within the building and not to, to add things. Yeah, and you also thought about the columns, how to do it, that they don't bend um, yeah, I'm a bit faster here. And then on the, on, on the, the roof, he, uh, he again cu cut out uh, a bigger space, a circular space that could be covered or not covered during the year um, in the form of, of a circus. Mm. Yeah. Does it work somehow? It's, it's quite light, unfortunately. Um, yeah, he also thought about the signage that it could be seen from train. Um, because at the moment, the Kaufhof is invisible. But yeah, it, it could be seen from the city. And then, maybe I'm a bit faster here. Um, it's, an, it's another project, which is not one project, but several projects. It's again, um, it's again a, a transformation of a department store as the final project of the master studio in Aachen. Um, and as you can see, it's called Mö, which the locals, um, read as the Mönckebergstraße, and it's the the it's almost the 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 opponent of your building. Um, it's the other. It's it's not the end um, of the Mönckebergstraße, but the beginning, because it's, it's in front um, of the uh, the central station. And it's 
also one of the, the, the first phase closures. And yeah, it's, a, it's, it's called Neues Klöpper House. So it's, it, it's not the first transformation. Um, the student had to develop, but it's the second because it, it was uh, one, of the, one of the contour Häuser from Fritz Höger, and it was transformed into a department store. So the, the facade is from the 1920s, and the, the core or the whole structure is from the 60s. Yeah, and it's, it's also a huge building, which has several uh, underground uh, levels, and it also has a, 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 a doppelganger um, across the street because it has a parking garage next to it. And it's, yeah, it's, it's quite deep. Um, and, it, and it has only one or three facades and the, the back is a, is a partition wall. Um, yeah. Hmm? Yeah, the, the structure is quite <laughs> radical. Um, you can see the Fritz Höger outer shell, which has a certain depth, and then the, the, the inner core of 10 by 10 meter wide spanning concrete. Yeah, and also, yeah, I found it quite interesting that the, the Mönckebergstraße is, is not so old, because the building, the, 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 this uh, photograph is from 1930. I hope it's correct. So it's, it's, and it's still under construction. Um, and that the, the city as, as we, we know it is, is almost younger than some of its citizens. And it's, yeah, it's, I somehow like this, um, the moment of, of, of transformation, that it's, again, um, that the Mönckeberg, maybe that the Mönckebergstraße is really an invention, and now it's transforming again into something maybe less mono, a me less monotype space like it was because yeah they 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 didn't there there wasn't any housing yeah there was some housing but then for around um, ninety years there was almost no housing um, and now it's housing again yeah so we studied the 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 contour Häuser and the, we studied, so we overlaid the existing um, of structure with the, the, the gone structure. I think also in your case, it's, it's interesting because it's, it, it's, it's an overwriting again of something. Um, so, the building on Mönckebergstraße are something like a palimpsest because they are transformed again and again and again. Yeah, um, and then within it's the, the, the radical grid of the 60s um, with all that concrete and the white spanning structure. Here, um, I just flipped through four different projects, um, and the, the, the invention of the program was part of the brief, so the, of the master thesis, so each of the students had to develop 
a program. So the building was given, but no program. So that they developed quite different uh, programs. So one somehow exaggerated the, the, the possibility of the department store in, in having um, storage elevators and these lo super load-bearing um, ceilings. And out of the, the, the perfect place within the city, um, he developed hub for several things that could be tra distributed by bikes. By load, by cargo bikes. Yeah, and <laughs> within the structure, it's all of all s s of distribution and storing things. A micro, not so micro, a, a medium-sized hub, maybe. And yeah, he also cut. Uh, cut uh, cut at the courtyard in that served as as a public space that you can also see the movement of of things within the building yeah the second one is quite different um, it's it's um, maybe the one that is 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 the, the most related to the retail because the student uh, Lisanne Wingels um, thought that it's, it's maybe a reintroduction of doing things in a city and selling them. So it's a crafts, uh, it's a building for craftsmen and women that produce things in different layers and they share um, the, the inner space with certain crafts and uh, things they need. And then on the outer, on these, on the, the outer rings, they have studios or working spaces. And on the ground floor, the things are sold with something which is maybe similar to a market hall. Um, yeah, and, and the, the introduction of the new or the, the maybe a bit less prominent uh, grid was quite successful in solving the, yeah, the whole structure of the building because there's a system of cutouts behind the facade that serve as public or common spaces. Here, they, are, they, they have, some of them have double heights and they, they, they alter. And it's, that's the inner uh, courtyard where they share different things like an oven for, for uh, not baking, for ceramics, yes. Um, or big machines for, for wood cutting and so on, yeah. And they alter all a bit. And then on the, on the roof, on the last um, level, uh, she proposed that also the, 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 the craftsmen and women could live there, like in, in, a, in, a, in, in medieval times, in the Zumpfthäuser, uh, there also were often um, places where the, the craftsmen could stay. Yeah, and they can see the, the relation of the new with the existing, which is um, drawn in always in green. I just skipped that one. 
And the last one, the last one is um, is is something which which was very fluently fl flowing through the newspaper. Um, it's an invention of a museum and um, a place for research. I think it's it's done. <laughs> or it's, it's somewhere else, but his proposal, uh, Morten Schrödgens, was that the evolutionium could enter this huge building and he somehow managed to recreate parts of the Klepper house of the former um, uh, yeah, the, the former contour house um, within the building and it's also a big cut out uh, in the ground floor um, for theater. And then it's, it's open to the, to the skylight, it's covered. Um, drawn with very beautiful renderings. Um, and then above, it's a mixture of of um, of research spaces and an exhibition around and from the the inner cutout you can see the the different layers of exhibition and research and also through in the exhibition you can see through through this uh, yeah this the the vitrine show cases yeah. in different sizes yeah and you can see that there is a relation between the study and the exhibition and sometimes it flips that the, the, the working spaces are on the outside and the exhibition is in the inside um, and vice versa. And in, in the lower ground, it's, it's just storage. And again, on the top, um, he proposed that um, student classes could enter the building for around a week, somehow like we do this, um, and they can live there. So it's it's a, it's a very simple way of of sleeping there on the top. In the in, there's a roof uh, terrace with a garden and around. Um, yeah, something like a use almost like a youth hostel um, in the in the attic. Yeah, it's a it's very beautifully drawn, <laughs> and somehow it's it's not over. <laughs> um, the 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 research of this typology that comes to an end. Um, yeah, we started to collect stories, and yeah, we also started to to. Um, from the one studio and we started to really analyze um, one of the, the, the department stores that are still, still uh, open mm, to somehow talk about the, the rich history. And that's, yeah, it is still super interesting. Um, and from the, the, the design studies, I may um, add three theses that they brought, um, and that's the end. So it's, I think the, the, the deep plan is really something like a present 
for architects to think about because you have to you have to do something and there are several ways like I've shown before to cut things out to add things to shift things yeah but you have to you have to invent spaces within an existing structure and that's that's super nice um so that's one thing the, the uh, department store offers. Um, maybe the second thesis is really related to it, that, the, that they are so huge and so empty that you have to think about the program. And that the, the, the that the program is also an invention and it may be new, like the, crafts, the, 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 the house for the craftsman, which is in that size, it's, it's new. And maybe like the Evolutionium, which is also a hybrid between things, um, it, it, left, it left the Klepper house, but it could, um, also work as a as a as a prototype in tr in the transformation. That it's about thinking about the program. How do things fit? Because yeah, you you really share spaces and the structure, and so the programmatic inter inventions are one thing that the department so offers. And um, obviously, it's it's maybe that's that's more a point for um, the the owners that 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 they really should keep the structures and invent something within their existing structure, and not. Um, tear it down or tear them down or just forget them because the department store was really, it, it's in the, the, the narrative of each of us. Maybe the younger less, but um, every one of us spend time there and maybe the, the, the older um, the people are, the more, the more gentle the, the souvenirs are. Because um, within the, 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 the history of the department store, they really were cult cultural places and public spaces where people met. And somehow, I think the, the, the now in this shift within the typology, it's a possibility to really um, re-enter the phase of creating public spaces within a building, which in the maybe the, 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 yeah, the last phase of the typology wasn't able or wasn't possible. Um, but now, yeah, we, we, we can re, reintegrate um, public spaces. And that's maybe it. Yeah, that's maybe it. <laughs> Thank you very much, especially for taking the time to curate this, especially for the workshop topic. Um, and I'm sure uh, the strategies uh, named are very um, close to what we are currently trying to mm -hmm. solve uh, in the studio. And you're also here tomorrow uh, yep. for our interim crit, so that already promised to be uh, an interesting event. Are there any questions?
Yeah. Thank you, for, first of all, very much for the really interesting talk. Um, you showed the Mönckebergstrasse, and while you were showing it, I had to think of what's right behind the place where you took, where the picture was taken from, the Karstadt, uh, um, I think, Sport und Spaß? I don't know. But the, uh, <laughs> Sport, the old Karstadt building that is currently in an interim usage. I don't know. Is it, do you think that's also like a future or how do you think about this project? Because I think it's really interesting and has a lot of potential and really fits into your studies. Yeah, I think the, the, the it's obviously one thing they also offer because they, it's their building that work. It's light is there. Sometimes also the, 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 the elevator stairs, are they called like this? Escalators. The escalators work, still work, and, and they're open, open to use. Um, and that's also, um, and you can test things directly. You can even even test the spatial ideas also directly. Maybe not cutting out, but imagining or putting curtains where a maybe future courtyard would be. So it's I think it's 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 one um, it's a it's it's a it's a very um, relevant um, fact that they are there and that you can test things with them and transform them into, into a, a project that maybe is not fixed in the beginning. That's and a, a project of a certain size. That's also quite nice. Any other questions? Yeah, also from my side, thank you first. It's very seldom that uh, our visiting professors really match his <laughs> uh, uh, lecture to the topic, so ah. I know how much work it is, so normally they just spin off what they have in there. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> now, what y y you give a very good sentence. There's too much space, mm -hmm. and seeing all these um, warehouses, especially Karstadt, you mentioned one, 100,000 meters square. Mm -hmm. I think that is really uh, a big problem once these projects are um, being managed by developers. So, actually, the students are brave enough to cut out things and but when you speak to developers, actually they, they want to not to give away the space uh, they actually bought. So I think that is a contradiction. On one side, these are kind of building typologies which are dead now. They are mm. like old dinos. You showed us the evolutionium. So they are out of time uh, on the one side. But second, like the Klöpper House, they have a kind of mm, quality from the outside, but still there is too much space. And I, I, I still, when <coughs> you will see tomorrow when you see these four designs, that is uh, really a contradiction on one side to somehow treat the space, on the other side take out space. When you take out too much space, there are very strong professors who say that's a uh, gray energy, don't take it out, and we are sustainable. So it's really a big discussion we are just in, and mm. I'm sure that this discussion is not <laughs> at the end. So what is your maybe recommendation about that conflict? Uh, money, space, um, uh, quality? Carbon, yes, uh, yes. kept yeah. carbon. Yeah, I think th there are not so many things you can do within a building of 50 
around 50 meters. Um, mm, and uh, yeah, m maybe the, 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 the developers have, have to wait a bit <laughs> still they, so they recognize that it's, if you're not doing um, um, a server farm or so, then it's, it's uh, you, you have to do something. Um, so at least, yeah, like, like in, in your brief, at least a quarter to a third of the building has to be taken out. Because otherwise, maybe you can you can you can you can manage to get yeah, to, to to push it to a quarter the the the, the, the cut out but you can't find um, selling square meters or the selling square me yeah you can maybe keep it but then the selling square meters is just distribution or storage or, yeah. And, yeah, I think you keep so much more carbon in keeping the whole building, it, it's worse. You have to, it's clear that you have to think about each, each, um, cubic of concrete you take out, but um, it's clear that, that it has to be something. Yeah, because the, the, main, the main structure is kept. It, it entirely, yeah, and I think there are several of them from the, the, the design studio of the eight, I think three of them are already demolished. And also in Hamburg, there are department stores that are going to be demolished soon. Um, yeah. So it's, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it, it would be, I think it would be super important to keep some of them and then to think, really think about how many, how less, uh, or how few cuts you could introduce. Yeah. <laughs> Eine Geste der Zustimmung, glaube ich. <laughs> Uh, it keeps it running. Um, departments thought were cultured spaces, you said. I thought that was also a very important thing to say when we look at how many of the proposals now are almost squats, like reintroducing something into the structure, but is how to achieve that quality and that cultured uh, use, which then also has a continuation of use. Yeah, yeah and it, I think it, it, it had to do with the program um, in the in the the research um, in a way about the history of the department. So there was a very beautiful um, a, a book for the ceremony of the opening of the. Um, of the Kaufhof or the Tietz, the Leonard Tietz building in Cologne. Um, and it, it was written by a, by a writer. And it had, and it's, it's really, it's almost, it's almost uh, a novel. And it, it de describes the, 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 the super beautiful spaces and their there are also beautiful photographs, and it's it's a it's a there was the space for um, 
the carpets and there was a space for the, the gaunts and there was a space and they were all differently designed. And it's, it's really, a, yeah, it's a, it's a novel in moving through the spaces and somehow it, it's, it's almost there. <laughs> It's at the moment it's gone. That the the I don't know where we try to 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 uh, find the tea room and the carpet room and there's some somewhere um, between the concrete grid. Um, but yeah, I think the 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 the, the cultural narrative that used to be there. A hundred years ago, is is not completely lost. Um, that's a huge building where you can spend your time and buy a bit, but not too many things. But you can spend your time um, in the heart of a city. Um, yeah, it's it's um, yeah. I think. We have to reread this, and it could be re rewritten <laughs> in the buildings. If the 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 whole ugliness of ceilings and floors, the the, the plastic floors, and yeah, all the furniture has been taken out, and then it, it could be re-squatted, <laughs> maybe with the 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 doing things around. Okay, please join me in thanking again Professor Bernhard for coming to AAC tonight and I'm inviting you to come next door for a glass of wine. Thank you.